The Dune Glaze Fest is far from over. We had the Oscars on Sunday, but it seems like those were overshadowed by the glazing that is still happening for this movie, and rightfully so. Dune, both the first one and the second one, but more so the sequel, have impeccable cinematography and CGI. Everyone has said it, but you forget you are watching a movie that is mostly made of visual effects. But with the compliments aside, there is a bittersweet aspect of Dune that I want to talk about for this video. The recent adaptations of Dune, which are widely accepted as the only worthy depictions of the book, came incredibly late. The first movie came 56 years after the original book. And in this time, you had franchises like Star Wars and Game of Thrones come and build their entire universes. Star Wars and Game of Thrones are also interesting since I've been seeing a lot of comparisons between the two and Dune recently. Spoilers ahead for all three, but many people say that Dune's premise of a just ruler set up to fail follows Game of Thrones and the story of Ned Stark. The political games between the houses also draw lots of parallels to Game of Thrones. With Star Wars, people say that Dune is similar since it has the commanding voice of the Bene Gesserit which is similar to the Jedi voice. The space travel along with melee battles is also going to create a lot of comparisons. And how can I not mention the similar plot twists behind the protagonist's lineage, with Paul Atreides' grandfather being the Baron and Luke's father being Anakin Skywalker. People present these comparisons as if Dune is following in the footsteps of Game of Thrones and Star Wars. But here's the thing, and I'm sure most of you have been thinking this behind the device you're watching this video on. Dune came before these other mega franchises. Most people who make these comparisons are probably basing them on the order in which they've seen these movies or read the books. For example, if you have someone who watched or read Game of Thrones before Dune, then they would naturally think of Game of Thrones as the original pioneer even though Dune came before, because this is the order in which they consume these pieces. The same goes for Star Wars. It's a natural tendency that we have as humans, where we order things on how we experience them rather than the true order they should be in, and it's a really bittersweet thing. For the uninitiated, Dune will seem like the franchise following in the footsteps of others, and Dune won't get as much praise as it deserves, since it doesn't seem as original as it actually is. Just to demonstrate my point a bit better, here are some examples of revolutionary things that won't seem as revolutionary if you were late to the party. If you watch Don't Worry Darling before The Matrix, then you probably wouldn't appreciate just how groundbreaking the idea of that movie was, since both deal with simulations and have similar scenarios of characters trying to break out. Spoilers ahead for The Prestige and Doom 3. Both of these movies have the same twist, with the reveal being a secret twin brother. But The Prestige did it first. However, if you watch Doom 3 before The Prestige, then the latter wouldn't feel special at all. You would just think to yourself, wow, that's very similar to Doom 3, I've already seen this before. This would be your instinctual reaction even if you knew The Prestige came out first, since you watched Doom 3 first, and that's your point of reference for this type of plot. I hope what I'm saying makes sense, but the basic idea is just that revolutionary things won't feel that special when we have experienced something else first, even if that thing we experienced was just a copy of that original revolutionary thing. In the case of Dune, the vast majority of us who got around to it after Star Wars and Game of Thrones will never be able to truly recognize how groundbreaking it was. Our perceptions toward Dune are widely influenced by the things it inspired, and it's bittersweet since we'll never be able to truly appreciate Dune for what it was since the adaptations came so late. 
I understand the technology just wasn't there at the time when Dune was originally published, and the book was considered unfilmable for a long time until recently. But still, it's sad that Frank Herbert's masterpiece didn't get the movies it deserved until recently. Well, those are just my thoughts on Dune and how our perceptions can be totally shifted based on what we've seen. Do you agree? Disagree? Is what I'm saying valid at all? Algorithm plug. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.